eight tornadoes. That's how many have now been confirmed in North Texas from yesterday's severe weather. Within the last half hour, the tornado that hit Jacksboro was confirmed by the National Weather Service as an EF3 with winds of 140 to 150 miles per hour. The rest were all EF0s or EF1s. Chopper 11 is giving you a bird's eye view of the damage in Jacksboro. You can see homes and buildings destroyed, other homes like this one badly damaged, and some cars were tossed around and completely flipped over. Yeah, there are two areas that really took the brunt of the hit, Jacksboro in Jack County, a buoy in Monte County, and northwest, all both uh, northwest of Fort Worth, by the way. We do have team coverage for you. Steve Pickett is in buoy with today's cleanup efforts there. Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett and Jason Allen are in Jacksboro. Let's go ahead and get things started with Jason Allen for us, uh, who joins us live right now along Highway 380 in one of the heavily damaged neighborhoods. Jason, what's it looking like today? Uh, it's it's pretty bad, it, and it's uh, you know we got a sense of that when we were here yesterday, Ken. But really today, when you really see how widespread this damage is, you mentioned we're on 380. That's 380 back there behind me, and from this spot, this neighborhood, you can start to get an idea of just how wide the path of damage was. Now I know the National Weather Service said in the last hour they didn't have a width yet, but I talked to somebody on a damage survey team who said possibly up to a half mile wide. And in between that, the impacts, as you see here, as we go around this neighborhood, everything from uh, trees toppled in half to roofs completely blown off. And this is the neighborhood where the National Weather Service said really suffered the, the, the biggest winds, the strongest winds that led them to that EF3 uh, rating. I want to show you um, what some of this led to today. And this was at a house about a half mile south of where we are right now. And this is where Miguel Quintanilla watched as his family helped him tear down what was left of his house. He decided to try to flee the house yesterday as the storm was approaching. He and his wife and his two youngest children, one and two years old, they got in their truck, which was picked up and turned around in the winds, but they were all okay. And so today they came back, they salvaged what they could, appliances and clothes and pictures, and now they're figuring out how to completely start over. Four years ago, I didn't have nothing. Four, this four years of, of progress. Now I got to start all over again, and I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a position where I'm not, you know, to say wealthy, and I got to live check to check. So I mean, it's kind of hard for us to, to start all over again. I mean, the only thing we got is family, and that's. So his family was here from from West Texas today, and, and we have seen that all over in these neighborhoods and really everywhere we went. People are they're with family, they're with friends, they're with neighbors. And uh, King Harry, that's really what a lot of these people, the only thing that they have to rely on right now, because in a lot of cases, everything else that they have is gone. Jason Allen, uh, thank you very much for that. Obviously, our hearts are with all of those families out there who will now, as you just heard, have to start from scratch again. Jason, thanks. We know the first alert weather team was on air all afternoon and into the early evening warning you about the storm. Scott issued the take cover warning just after 350 yesterday. If you live in Jacksboro, please be, be in your safe spot right now. And he joins us now live from Jacksboro Elementary School. And, and it's I'm sure it's much different when you're sitting in the studio here and you're seeing everything happening on the radar and, and being in it and seeing the damage that was done, Scott. Yeah, absolutely, Karen. And we're just behind Jacksboro Elementary School, right off of Brad Street. And when we were tracking the tornado yesterday, we knew it was going to be on the southwest sides of Jacksboro, making its way from the southwest to the north and east. And that's where we're standing right now. So we're off of Brad Street and Main Street. You can see this home here behind me, the wall completely gone. The picture above the fireplace still on. It's nailed there, but you can see that this home has just been ripped apart. And this was right in the path of the significant tornado with winds sustained of 140 to 150 miles per hour. There's insulation in the trees, sheet metal that's in the trees right now. Uh, all of this from the homes that are off of Brad Street and to the southwest as this continued to then push its way north and east towards the high school. So the National Weather Service today confirming that the significant damage was from the high school and to the southwest. And that's where we are right now. These winds were sustained near 140 to about 150 miles per hour as this significant tornado moved through. So 
The National Weather Service confirming an EF3 tornado impacting the Jacksboro area. Hardest hit areas again, the high school into the near, nearby subdivision where we're sitting. And this was one of eight tornadoes now confirmed by the National Weather Service that we were talking about here. This is the strongest one uh, that is being reported with those winds again, about 140 to 150 miles per hour. And what the crews do, what the National Weather Service crews do, uh, they come out and they assess the damage. And by assessing the damage, they're able to really figure out what the winds are compared also with the radar data. And even when we were looking at the elementary school with those concrete walls, we were talking about this is most likely going to be an EF3 tornado. And that's what the National Weather Service has confirmed. Thankfully, uh, we have not heard of any fatalities. We have heard of about nine injuries uh, from this tornado. But uh, Ken and Karen, the damage here is significant. The crews here coming together, North Texans coming together and helping neighbor and neighbor uh, to continue to repair and clean up. And so many pe uh, people are just going to need that help, Scott. And it really is absolutely incredible that no one was killed when you look at the damage. Thank you very much.